good day everybody it is Claxon here and if you guys enjoyed this video you guys should go ahead and subscribe for more ruby videos join the discord server if you guys want to talk with other ruby fans and this video was brought to you guys by my patrons so thank you to them today we will be looking at the volume 7 track list which is always fun because sometimes we get songs that weren't even in the show uh, we get to see the full length of songs that were in the show that we only heard for like 30 seconds and stuff like that and then uh, the acoustics and the remixes are always a surprise if you would like to be surprised you should probably click away because I guess it's gonna be spoilers like what the track list looks like but I want to sort of talk about it because I'm really really excited for the soundtrack it's probably my favorite part of the year like in terms of all the Ruby stuff we get like obviously like the show right but the soundtrack is something like I don't listen to Ruby on repeat in my normal life like I watch I rewatch it every year but usually after I do my reaction like that's it for a while but when the soundtrack comes out like I listen to the soundtrack every morning when I go to school or you know coming back from school or or at work, well, not at work, <laughs> going to work. Probably shouldn't listen to it at work or while I'm working here, while I'm working here and editing videos and stuff. Uh, and so, yeah, like I listen to the soundtrack a lot, obviously. I think we all do. So it's one of the more exciting parts of the year because obviously you rewatch the episodes, but I think that everybody listens to music a lot more and music can be very like moving and uplifting. And that's what we really need during these times. I feel like that's why people have been so hungry for the soundtrack. And the soundtrack has some like very uplifting uh, you know, like, let us celebrate, like, all those ones, like, type songs, uh, and so I feel like it's gonna be really good, it's gonna be very cathartic, I think, like, the people that want to be happy will get some happy songs, and the people that want to sort of vent will get the, like, I never really had a problem with you, like, all those ones, so yeah, let's get into the track list now, that was a little, that was a little long. <laughs> So Trust Love is pretty standard. It just seems like we're going to get the other half of what we already heard in the OP. I am excited to hear uh, some of the other like verses and stuff because we can get surprised like Let's Just Live had this like really major sad part in the middle of it. But I'm actually more intrigued by Touch the Sky, uh, which obviously comes right after it. And it is at five minutes long. And I think it's good to mention Let's Just Live just because I feel like that the time for this one could be due to three reasons. It could just be like an upbeat song with a lot of verses. You know what I mean? Like it could just uh, go on a little longer, even though it's a happy song. But most of the songs that are of this length have like a sad part. You know, when you think about like Life is Mine, for example, and even Let's Just Live, Let's Just Live is um, on the shorter side of this, I think. I think it's under five minutes. Um, but when you think about it, like Ruby songs a lot of the time do this thing where it's like, yeah, everything's happy. Let's just live. But also let's talk about how all our friends are dead, right? And so it's one of those things where it's like, I feel like in this song, it's like, yeah, we're new people. Touch the sky. Woo! also death and <laughs> military occupation I don't know but I feel like that it's gonna be one of those it's gonna be one of those moments you know what I mean where it's like yay we get an upbeat song no the middle of it is gonna be sad like I feel like that that could definitely be a possibility because think about life is mine life is mine starts sad but then it goes hard right nobody expected that so I feel like this could be the same thing except almost the reverse where this is like yeah upbeat sad <laughs> or even like goes hard I guess is like angry like the other part of life is mine is very like angry and all that stuff so you guys know what I mean like just a contrasting tone like we spiral into the sadness or whatever it is right or the other option is I think at the beginning of touch the sky there is a little bit there's a little guitar stuff going on we know how Jeff likes his little guitar solo so it could also just be a guitar solo like in an otherwise like very happy upbeat song and it could be a combination of those things too it could be a guitar solo and then sadness right so I feel like that those are some good guesses for what that track in particular will bring I don't really have anything else to say about hero I think it would be really really interesting I don't know if we can see uh, uh, the singers because we can't see them on here I don't know if you would be able to see them on iTunes if you pre-ordered the track but wouldn't it be cool if like you know Caleb was singing and then surprise like somebody else was singing with him because I was thinking about this right like you have stuff um, like Nevermore which has two people singing you have Blake singing and then you have um, Yang singing. I don't know if you can see the full people that are credited on the track on iTunes because I'm looking and all I see is like Jeff Williams, Jeff Williams, Jeff Williams. It won't let me open it up uh, to see who else is singing with people. If you guys find out, let me know. But wouldn't it be cool if there was like a Watt side 
And even like this time, I think that's a song um, about the White Fang. And so you have Blake singing in a sense. You have the singer that represents Blake, which is Casey. And then you have Jeff, which is representative of like the men in the song, like Gira and Sun and all that stuff. I think it is supposed to be more Sun um, than Gira, but you guys get the idea, right? Usually there are two people singing. And I think it would be interesting that with Hero, it's either just going to be Caleb because both Watts and Ironwood think that they are the hero of their own story, but maybe neither of them are the hero in the end so it could just be Caleb singing for both of them because they share the exact same perspective or we could get some contrasting lines where Jeff actually sings for Watts or the reverse because you're not really sure like you think that hero is from Ironwood's perspective but is it I don't know uh, and so that could be interesting if it's not just Caleb that is singing hero but it's actually Jeff is singing with him or someone else is singing with him and they're doing this contrasting thing where this is what Ironwood thinks and then this is what Watts thinks you know what I mean? Like Nevermore, which is also here. We'll talk about that later. Uh, brand New Day. I'm really excited to hear this one because most of it was obscured in the actual show proper. If you guys remember, I think that this is the song where Mero was like, hey, why don't you guys branch out? Like it was during that montage and people were talking over it. So I'm excited for this one. I really need like some peppy songs in my life, guys. <laughs> like that's what I'm really looking for right now. I know some people want to like, you know, use songs to like vent and stuff as well. And I that's totally valid. I do that all all the time like if I'm angry I will go ahead and sing an angry song guys um but you know I just want like the happy ones like I want like yeah touch the sky woo brand new day woo right because you know I, I don't know I just feel like I need that in quarantine so I'm excited to hear that one without all the obstruction um from you know the show's audio <laughs> and all that you could say uh let's get real so I did a poll on Twitter and this one lost it didn't lose but this was the one that people were least excited for right and I feel like it's hard because I told people to vote for one, right? And so it's not that like, oh, well, this song is trash, right? It's that all of the songs are good, but which one am I looking for? forward to the most right and so I don't think that anyone has anything negative to say about the songs on the soundtrack especially because they haven't heard them yet you know what I mean um but yeah this was the one that came in last place and I'm like why because this is a song that played during the Renora stuff and I'm like don't you guys want that Renora characterization like this could be like boop part two like this could be a song about their love because it did so sort of sound like a love song like when we first heard it in the show and it played when they kissed and so I'm like what if we get the Ren and Nora like stuff that we've all been waiting for to see inside of their heads like we haven't seen in Renora's head for a long ass time and it's not like Ren like even though he got his backstory in volume four there was not a Ren song <laughs> on the soundtrack at least I don't think so uh if you guys think that one of the volume four songs is a Ren song let me know um but you know what I mean like Nora got boops so what if this is like this is like Ren's thing what if let's get real is let's be realistic Nora we can't have a thing right now like that would just break my heart and I would cry moving swiftly onward we got war which I'm pretty sure see here's what I don't understand actually before I get into that war I'm like a hundred percent sure is the song that plays during the Aesop's fight. So I'm not sure why Celebrate is after because usually the show puts them in the order that they were in the show if that makes sense so like celebrate should be more over here but even like hero's not in the right spot so i wonder if they're doing something where they want to sort of i don't want to say spice up but they're like you know happy song heavy song happy song like you know what i mean like heavy song happy song if let's get real is a happy song right so i feel like that they may be doing something like that where they're trying to instead of playing things in the order that they came in because celebrate should be uh back over there before hero because celebrate is played at the rally uh they're trying to sort of you know do like sad happy sad happy you know and sort of end off uh in that sort of way like even like i may fall like i may fall is like a very heavy song and then nevermore is sort of like empowering in a sense right and so i wonder if they have like a strategy that hey we're not gonna put the songs on the soundtrack in the order that they appeared in the show uh we're just gonna put the songs on there and make like a sort of like list that uh people will sort of like because there's like variety if they're listening to a playlist it's not just like all the happy songs and then all the sad ones you know what I mean uh but I don't know but I guess people can make their own playlist so you guys can put it however you want I don't know why it's not in order it doesn't really matter that much what was I saying oh yeah so I think war 
is the one um, that is sung during the Aesop fight. And that's going to be the really interesting one. Going to have a song that has multiple voices. Like, you know, we've had songs with multiple voices before. We've had duets. But this is, like, this is four different people. Like, this is going to be, like, the hypest thing on the soundtrack. At least it is one of the hypest ones for me because you have so many people singing together. It's like, how are their voices going to blend? How are they going to bounce off of each other? Right? Because they sounded really, really good um, in what we heard, right? So I'm really, really excited. And, like, more female singers I love that a part that I could probably sing as a soprano possibly I should say that I could possibly sing as a soprano that sounds nice not that Casey isn't a soprano she does go high uh, but Casey and my vocal styles are very different so selfishly I am glad to see more girls do the voices because I have an easier part of like the Blake half of Nevermore for example uh compared to like the part that Casey sings which I think I think that's how it is I think Casey's supposed to be Yang correct me correct me if I'm wrong guys uh so celebrate I'm really excited for this song like this one sounded like a hype song like this is the one that played at the rally um I think considering the context of where it was played it may get fucking sad right because it is also almost five minutes you know what I mean because I think it was pr played at the rally like right as they walk in and all that stuff and it was like time to celebrate like I'm pretty sure that that's going downhill really fast considering what happened in the rally uh, but I don't know I'm just really excited for that one um and yeah then we have until the end um it's gonna be it's gonna be fun I don't really have anything else to say um about until the end specifically um and then obviously we have fear which we've heard all of um I think I may fall acoustic I think that was a good choice considering where we are back again <laughs> if that makes sense like we are back to falling right like veil fell atlas is falling so i may fall being here again right like i may fall atlas may fall like i feel like that that was a pretty like understandable choice makes a lot of sense uh the nevermore remix i'm really interested in um i don't know if this is the same guy that did the remixes on the soundtrack before um but yeah the nevermore remix is probably gonna be fun and I wonder if they'll try to, like, mix it with, like, Bumblebee if they could, like, you know, uh, you know, for, for that, like, somehow mix, like, the two tracks together, like, Bumblebee and Nevermore and have it be, like, a thing. I don't know if they would be able to do that, <laughs> but, you know, just an idea. I think that the remix is gonna be fun. So, yeah, that is my opinion on basically all the songs. Like I said, I don't really have an opinion on Until the End, but I'm really excited about, like, the longer ones, like, Celebrate and, like, Touch the Sky, because I'm like, mm, are we getting into some sad parts? Are there sad parts? in there or guitar riffs or whatever right because they seem like such happy songs but they're happy in disguise we're being tricked <laughs> so yeah that is basically all for me i hope that you guys enjoyed this video remember to subscribe and my song reactions will be up on friday i don't know if i'm just gonna dump them or if I'm gonna like post them like one a day because there are like basically there are 11 songs to listen to and so that would take me a week and I don't know if the algorithm wants that so I may just upload all of them on the same day like one an hour like every 12 hours or not every hour in a 12 hour span I start posting a soundtrack reaction song I may do it over the course of three days at least like um I may do like these three and then these three and then Saturday will be like whatever combination of this or I guess Sunday like Friday Saturday Sunday but that is it from me everyone I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys